Hey, good morning. It's day 39 of our 40 days of prayer. If there are two words to describe our American psyche right now, I think probably for many people, they would be fear and discouragement. There's a, a sense of fear, uh, just the unknown, not knowing what's happening, the, the unseen enemy, the invisible enemy that we're fighting. There's the, the, the fear that we either might get it and give it to somebody or, or that someone we come in contact with might have it. I went to the grocery store this week and um, if you looked at someone or even smiled at someone, um, they had this look on like, oh no, they might have it and, and, and they start to stay away from you. And, and if you get closer than 25 feet away from anybody, they freak out. And, and, and I understand that and I think that's normal and maybe even somewhat healthy. But there's just this, this fear, this fear that surrounds this whole pandemic. And, and the other word is discouragement. Um, it, it's discouraging to be quarantined, to be isolated, to see what's going on with our countrymen, to see what's going on with our economy. It's very discouraging. And there's really no end in sight. We don't know how this wraps up. There's no final cut date when we know it's going to finish. And discouragement, I think, is a pretty prominent view right now for our country as well. Well, we're going to look at a passage of Scripture with Jehoshaphat. And from, if you remember, there were two armies that were arrayed against him, and um, they were coming against him, and he knew there was no way he could, he could defeat them. There were two words that described how he was feeling. It was fear and discouragement. So while what God says is to Jehoshaphat, I think there might be some truths in there that would apply to us as well this morning. So let's take a look at this scripture before we pray. It's found in 2 Chronicles 20, verse 15 to 17, and it says, Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions against take up your positions, stand firm, and see the deliverance of the Lord that He will give you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. God used those commands. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged as, as bookends in this passage. He uses them to, um, to kind of highlight, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged, describe some things. Don't be afraid, don't be discouraged. And again, while this is directed toward Jehoshaphat, I think there's some truths there for us today too. About not being afraid, not, about not being discouraged because God's fighting the battle. And we can rely on Him and trust in Him. And um, He knows what He's doing in all of this. So let's just pray to a God who tells us to have confidence in Him. God, it's very easy this morning to be filled with fear. There's just so much uncertain. There's just so much that we fear for our family, for our loved ones, that they might get this. There's fear for what's going on in our country. And when you see the horrible stories from New York City and other places, it's, it would be very easy for us to be filled with fear this morning. And even discouragement, God, uh, it, it gets tiresome. The whole isolation and, and just the, the whole going on with no end in sight, God, that gets really tiresome and discouraging after a while. So I would just pray this morning that like you did for Jehoshaphat, we would rely on you to be fighting this battle. And honestly, there's nothing we can do against the virus itself to, to defeat it other than the things that they're telling us to do with social isolation and things like that. But that we're talking about actually defeating the virus itself, and that's that's in your hands. And we're trusting you to, to fight this battle for us, God. And we're, again, reminded at the end of this scripture that it's about fear and discouragement, to not be afraid, to not be discouraged. So, God, would you help us to walk through today with the opposite of those things? Would you help us to walk through not with fear but with, with confidence, with trust, not with discouragement but with, with an encouraged heart that you are walking with us and that you're going to fight this and that we can trust in you as we walk through this today. And God, I pray that you would not just do that for us, but may we be your beacon of hope for this world around us who desperately needs to have 
that hope and that encouragement that you offer us today. I pray that in your name, Jesus. Amen. Well, again, if you're part of Hope River Church and you've been doing all these 40 days with us, take some time in this passage and see what God's speaking to you through it. And definitely join us for tomorrow morning for our last day of the 40 days of prayer. We'll see you in the morning.